Dora. Wake up. It's time for you to go to school. Coming, mom. Dora, are you ready to go to school? Yes, mom. Let's go. Okay, Dora. Have a great day and don't get into some trouble or it will be punishment day. Okay, mom. Goodbye. Dora, you made it on time for once. Please take a seat. Okay, class. We are going to be doing some science. Turn your papers to page 21. Oh, that's the bell for 7th period. You all are dismissed. Oh, and before you go to 7th period, you all have a test you have to take tomorrow. Tomorrow's test will be the math test. Wait, what? A math test? I cannot do the tomorrow. Yes you are, Dora. If you don't study for the test tomorrow and by the time you come here and you end up failing, you will get an automatic F in this semester. Now go class. Come on Dora, we are going home right now. Dora, wake up right now. It's time for school. You better not be throwing a temper tantrum, because if you do, you will be grounded. So get up right now. Oh come on, I have a test to treat today and I didn't even study for the math test. I have to think of something for me to get out of taking the stupid test. Oh I know. I will hate being sick so my mom or the school is going to have to take me to school. That way, I won't have to take the stupid math test today. This is gonna be so good. Dora, it looks like you didn't hear what I said to you. So, I'm going to your room right now. Dora, why are you still in bed? Are you not feeling well? I don't know, Mom. Why is it so cold in here? Oh no. Don't tell me you have the flu. Oh my god, Dora. You're so hot. And sweaty. That's okay. I'll push through it. No, no, no. Just... Just stay down. You're gonna need your rest. I'll call the school to let them know that you're not feeling well. Are you sure? I'm really sorry. I hate missing school. I know, Dora. Well, hopefully you'll be better before the next test on Monday. You know what? Let me just call the doctor and make an appointment. No. Um, I'll be fine. I'll just wait and then if I'm not better in a couple days, then I'll go. Okay. I'll go get the thermometer in the meantime. Here, Dora. I got the thermometer. Just keep this in your mouth. I'll call the school in the meantime. Hello, school? This is Elena Marquez. I am calling to tell you that Dora is sick. Can the math test for Dora be on Monday instead? Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Dora, let's see your temperature. Oh my god. 104.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Dora. It looks like you cannot go to school today. You will have to stay home from school and also taking the math test today. If you need anything, just call me. I will be downstairs watching TV. Ha 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 ha. I cannot believe she actually fell for it. Now it's time to play on my computer.
Hey, what are you doing on your computer while laughing? Oh, um, I was looking on Google Chrome to see if I can find a quick cure for my fever. Liar liar pants on fire. You're not actually sick. That's it, I'm going to check your temperature again to prove that you're faking it or not. Motherfucking explorer, how dare you fake being sick so that you cannot go to school and also get away with taking the motherfucking math motherfucking test. That's it, I'm calling Mrs. Christina over here to force you to do the test right freaking now. You son of a bitch. Hello? Mrs. Christina? Yes. Dora fake being sick so that she wouldn't go to school and also take the math test. Can you please come here so that we can give Dora a big surprise? What? Oh, <laughs> Fucking god, I had a slight feeling that she would actually fake being sick just to get out of the math test. Yes, I will come over to your house so that we can give Dora a big surprise. I'll be there in one minute. Okay, bye. Now Dora, Mrs. Christina will be coming over to our house to give you a big surprise. I guess that she arrived now. I'm going to receive her. Dora, I can't believe that you faked being sick to skip school and also not doing the math test like I told everyone to do so. That's it. Today is punishment day. Why, 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 Hey! Not another punishment day. Please don't give me another punishment day. Well, that's just too bad, Dora. Now let's begin with the punishments. First punishment. Changing your voice back to Julie, which is your old voice. No, 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 no,
Wa a a a a a a a a a a a a a a I'm falling. Somebody please help me. Wa 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 a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a Shut up now Dora. Now for your final punishment, having an empty train fall on you to kill you. Oh, oh fuck you all for killing me oh. Dora. Dora is dead. Now let's all celebrate that Dora is grounded and has also died by our third punishment day.